The adjustments upwards and downwards are the same way that business cycles uh, go upward and downward. So whether there is going to be an economic downturn or not, this is a change that we all need to make. So are we going to delay further? No. The answer is we all need to change. We entered into a recession. Would she believe that businesses would then be very upset if we said that we would scale this uh, $25 a tonne back to something lower to eventually raise it subsequently? I like to maybe ask him for his suggestion of how the government should be positioning the carbon tax in his way. What will be your target? Is hundred dollars? If it's long run, which year? Is it twenty thirty still? Just to be clear, the government has not uh, also committed to a, a fifty to a oh, we eighty. Have. Fifty uh, to long. eighty is our range. So what is your range? Uh, we, we, and, and that was well stated, 58 to 133 with the midpoint of being 100. Okay, so that's your, your range is higher than the government, is it correct? The lower bound is lower than the government's upper bound. 50 to, 50 to 80, yours is 58 to 133. Yes, the lower bound that I gave you is lower than the government's upper bound. All right, okay, all right, okay. So can you please try to tell me, if you are the Minister of Sustainability and Environment, how would you glide to this number? I suggested that we could do it incrementally the way that the Ministry has suggested, but I also suggested that we could uh, allow the specific level to adjust upward and downward according to economic conditions. So are you then saying that we can go out to the world and say, sorry, I've made the 2030 NDC on the basis of certain economic conditions, and now that the economic conditions are bad, there's a war out there, there is high inflation and energy, my NDCs don't count because I need to glide further out? No, but I think I was clear that the, the adjustments upwards and downwards are the same way that business cycles uh, go upward and downward. So you are suggesting a very variable carbon tax rate ends with 58 to 133, but without knowing how it's going to get there, not even knowing what 2024 is going to be. I think you would set a target, but be able to ad adapt to economic are conditions to, the same way the interest rates are routine. rate for 2024? As I said, it's not complicated. You set a target. What is that rate? So what is the number? We, we can go with the government's proposed number, say start with $25, okay, so as I said in my speech. 20, so 2025, are you going to stay with $25 as well? Or we you would have to look at economic conditions. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. I understand that when a member asks a question, the other member sits down, question is answered, vice versa. There's I, some I, background I between both parties. For that. I will I will sit down, okay. Please, can you please um, tell me, describe to me, your carbon tax glide path in numbers. So I'm happy to clarify again. We are not opposed to the original path, but I'm pushing for the flexibility to adjust it upward or downward just to take account of the fact that economic conditions may alter the same way we do for interest rates. I, I think that, um, Mr. Speaker, this is not a fiscal policy. This is a policy to change our energy, our energy mix and our energy use. So whether there is going to be an economic downturn or not, this is a change that we all need to make. And members have spoken so passionately about the need to address. So are we going to delay further? No. The answer is we all need to change. Even though there's energy crisis out there, please don't turn your eyes away from the problem. So I hope that members will support what we are doing, understand that we are, not, we are not blind to concerns, except that we need to give clarity to companies, to invest, to change, to adopt a way of low carbon production that we cannot delay anymore, even as we are confronting some major challenges out there.